यस सर हो बरोबर सो टेलीफोन एटिकेट व्हाट एक्झॅक्टली मीन बाय टेलीफोन एटिकेट व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट टेलीफोन एटिकेट व्हेन वी रिसीव टेली कॉल ऑफ एनीबॉडीज हाउ टू टॉक विद देम एट स्टार्टिंग से हेलो सच टाइप ऑफ very good nice right so generally uh, whenever we used to talk about telephone etiquette generally most of the people they may get a little bit confusion that so do we need really telephone etiquette because we have been talking in mobile phone we have been talking on the phone right so we are experts in talking on the phone but why do we need this telephone etiquette so is there anything else to we need to learn but the answer is yes we need to learn a lot of things like how to call others while you are calling to someone else how to do it correct way and while you are answering a call how you need to do it correct way and while you are transferring a call to the third party or third person how we need to act what kind of phrases what kind of sentences we should use that is what the concepts exactly talking about telephone etiquette now first let's jump into the topic right so using the telephone effectively and courteously using the telephone effectively and courteously so uh, all of you try to go through the points whatever the bullet points are there I'll just go through them as fast as you can right now so we need to discuss point by point once the phone before the third ring so generally what we do is if anyone call us we should respond before the third ring that is the first thing we should keep in mind and if if you are busy or uh, because of some urgent issue or urgent meeting if you are not able to attend any call in that case you should return or you should call back them within 24 hours within 24 hours in the sense you should call back on the same day right always identify yourself when placing a call while you are placing a call while you are calling to someone else we should reveal our identity we should identify we should identify ourselves generally most of the people they used to do uh, uh, in a wrong way that you know they call someone else or they call to us or anyone if someone calling to us in the sense that is the first responsibility of themselves that they should introduce themselves who they are who they called for example if pramod call to alok in that case pramod should give clear information who is he i should tell alok ji why i called for example first of all i should give my introduction who am i and who i called we should take that information most of the people without taking that clarity without this clarification what they do is they'll directly jump on to the conversation they directly jump on to the actual business that is not the wrong way to start a call right always identify yourself when placing a call and keep conversation brief we should keep conversation brief most of the people they used to say you know for example they if they want to give one statement one concept or one instruction instead of that what they do is they'll give a lot of stories right so they roam here and there here and there here and there and then finally they'll give a concept or an actual point meanwhile what happens is you know the listener or the person who is there outside i mean other side he may not be able to grab that information he may not be able to grab that point what you are trying to say all right so our conversation should be brief but not to the point of cutness okay it should be 
brief, but you should not give the direct point on the spot. Try to give a little clear information and address people by their names and titles. We should address them by their names and titles. For example, if I call to Alok Jain, I should say, my name is Pramod Kumar. Am I speaking to Alok Jain? I should not say Alok or I should not say Jain because sometimes it may be there might be a chance being two or three more people out uh, with the same name. For example, if Alok Ji is working in one company, right, without calling him on the name, directly I ring the phone and I just started talking, right? So, uh, is there any possible way to reach my message correctly? Definitely, there will be a lot of chances for miscommunication. Because I didn't reveal my identity. Similarly, I don't have taken the clarity who is answering that side. Right? So, whomever we call, there should be... There should, so, whenever we are calling, in a sense, there should be a proper vision. There should be a proper goal. Whom we are calling. For example, if Ramod calls to Alok Jain, I should take the clarity with whom I'm talking. Okay. Sometimes what happens, for example, I call to Alok Jain, but Alok Jain in the busy or Alok Jain in a meeting. In that case, his friend or his uh, colleague might answer the call. Without knowing that if I talk to them directly, what happens, for example, the, whatever the information I'm telling him, it might be a uh, very serious uh, information or a very secret information. In that case, if I give my secrecy to the next person, what will happen? Either I should face some their circumstances or Alokji is going to face some their circumstances. So to avoid all these problems, what we need to do is, it's a good idea. We should, we should give our identity and we should take the clarity who is answered our call. Then only we should transfer the data, whatever the information we, we wish to convey. Right. Next, place a call on hold if necessary. <laughs> this is a very important aspect. For example, we are on the phone. Meanwhile, someone, some urgent work is there. Right? Or something happened in your house or something happened before you. What we do is we directly keep the phone aside and we will go and do that work. This is the worst attitude. What we need to do is we should take the permission because he is our caller. We should give the permission. We should take the permission from the next person and ask them to hold for the time, whatever the time, one minute or two minutes. All right, whatever the time you are taking the permission, take the permission first and then do your work, whatever the time you requested for. Within that time, you should come back and if you are not able to complete your work still, then tell them to wait some more time. If not possible for them, ask them to cut the call and that uh, then you are going to call back to them. When you, are, when you are able to call back them, you should give that information and then tell them to disconnect the call. This is the right way we should hold the person, next person. Right? So we should not leave the phone. That is not a correct way. And respond promptly to all requests. So whatever the request you are getting, you should respond promptly, properly. For example, most of the time, if you observe any telecaller's job, or any customer cares uh, calls, if you listen to them, right? If you observe how they handle the customers, though the customer is so aggressive, though the customer is scolding them, though the customer is asking n number of questions, they never try to show their uh, this hoarseness or embarrassment. They never show that their feelings because. That is the actual way we should respond to the clients, right? The way you are feeling, it is immaterial for the next person, right? If we are receiving a call, if you are in a position or if you are in the 
position of responsible position in that case we should we should show some empathy we should show some uh, courtesy how to speak to them is it clear so far yes clear right. next go through these things very fast right now so a listen do not interrupt a caller or become impatient for example if you have received a call if someone is talking to you we should never ever interrupt them not only in a telephone etiquette in any case if someone is talking to us we should never interrupt them we should we should wait for we should wait until they pause once they pause then you can intervene right sometimes sometimes if you strongly need or sometimes you should interrupt in that case how we need to interrupt them then we need to take the permission of the speaker right so excuse me here i would like to add a point or here i would like to intervene like that we should take the permission and then interrupt then intervene and do not talk with food or chewing gum in your mouth right we should not talk chewing or eating anything so while we are eating while we are uh, taking anything we should not talk on the phone because while you are uh, chewing or while you are eating food of course it might be uh, understandable to you because you are the person speaking and it might be understandable to you because already the ideas are there in your mind but the next person he may not be able to get it properly he may not be able to understand what you are saying exactly all right so try to avoid this uh, situation if something is there on your mouth we should we should never speak on the phone right next respond courteously yes sir sir uh, ye uh, pronunciation jo hai iska uh, chewing hai chewing hai chewing chewing yes chewing chewing down okay chew chew chewing sir yes using the telephone effectively and courteously courteously yes sir sir usually we uh, call like uh, courtesy no no courtesy courtesy yes so courtesy is different from courtesy okay okay courtesy courtesy yeah all right so what is mean by courtesy so courtesy means uh, we should give utmost priority utmost respect or simply are uh, showing a regard showing regard in a sense we should uh, give more priority more respect to the people okay right? yeah so utmost care utmost uh, mm, yeah utmost care simply okay yeah next uh, next always let the customer know when you will return the call right so this is what the point we discussed for example uh while you are talking on the phone you need to uh, ask the people i mean ask the person to be hold right so after some time still you need to continue your work you are not able to talk to them in that case you just need to take the permission uh, and you need to tell him that try to disconnect the call i'm going to call you back but we should responsible for this we should tell them when we are going to call back to them we should tell them when we are going to call back to them and this must never exceed one day for example if you say i'll call you back later, or i'll call you back or i'll call you later so you should tell them when exactly when you are going to call them back because they should fix their calendar correct so we should give clear information and it should never exceed one day next when we have finished talking say thank you mr or miss and then mention their 
So, for example, if you mention Mr. or Miss, what is the name we should use? Scholar. Yeah, yeah. Scholar. But, uh, so for example, some people have a first name, last name, some people have first name, middle name, and last name. In that case, what is the name we should use? First name. Last name. Exactly. Kavita name is correct. Last name. We should never use first name unless and until if they are very close to you. I should not call Mr. Alok, but I should call Mr. Jain. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Today has fashion that everybody call uh, uh, one another with the first name. Uh, when I uh, joined my bank, at that time, nobody uh, called uh, me or anybody with the first name. But now, everybody call everyone with their first name. Exactly. So with, G, with G. Yes. So, in the beginning, why they did not call you on first name? Because you don't have that much of uh, friendliness because you are new to that position. Right? So, if we don't know each other in that case, we should call by last name. If we all familiar, if you are very familiar, then we can use first name. That's that's the main thing I am telling you. Yes, ma'am. In our days, uh, we are unknown to each other, but now what is the same thing? Unknown with each other, still, uh, even though they call one another by their first name. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can't be. Yes, yet in Maharashtra, but, uh, but they use uh, G or Sir or Ma'am. Yeah. With so with G, that, we can use. For example, Mr. Alok G, Mr. Sir, Kavita yes, G, like that. If they sir, use, sir. fine, no problem. Sir, sir. Yes. One thing, one more thing, I want to tell you. Yes. Uh, when I uh, watch TV uh, and. Uh, and the program of music program specially, uh, even one small kid also um, uh, also um, uh, tell uh, call say, Mister say, and their family name. Yes. No, so, uh, when uh, I especially music program Sare Gama where uh, renowned uh, uh, singer uh, uh, that is uh, Mahesh Kare and. Um, uh, another one, uh, they are uh, judged. They all were judged, and the uh, participant uh, called them two. Call them two. Matlab in Marathi, two and uh, in Hindi, two you you not. Yes. But, uh, they give respect to me or uh, no, no, no. Uh, yes. So here, yes, yes, yes. So in Hindi or Marathi, we have a little bit uh, respectable words. But in English, you means singular and plural. But they are talking in Marathi and they say tu. They don't say to me or aap. <laughs> I noticed this in Marathi channel and in our uh, Maharashtra, in uh, Pune and in my flat scheme also, my apartment. All right. Now, let the caller hang up first. For example, uh, Whenever you are, uh, I mean, whenever your talk is completed, then we should say thanks. Before disconnecting the call, we should let the caller to hang up. We should let the caller to disconnect the call. Because if someone called us in a sense, mostly they will have some information to share with us. So in that case, we should give the time to the caller to Disconnect the call. Okay? Okay. Right now. Yes. So now we are going to talk about the different aspects of telephone etiquette. So the first concept is placing a call. While you are dialing to someone else, while you are calling to someone else, what are the things you need to keep in mind? First, know the name of the person you want to reach and how to pronounce it. First thing is, we should know the name whom we are calling and we should know how to pronounce that name. For example, uh, I mean, uh, for some Western names or some other country names, 
the uh, the name looks uh, similar to us but the pronunciation is little bit different from us right so indian names are a little bit different from the western country names, correct so whenever we are talking to them we need to know the name first and then the pronunciation correct pronunciation of that name right and the second thing verify the phone number before calling so most of the times so we may get wrong calls so they used to say <laughs> so actually i dialed someone else but uh, <laughs> connected to you <laughs> right really <laughs> so what they do is simply they are uh, in somewhat sleeping mode and they used to call <laughs> so this is this is uh, this is uh, strictly we should prohibit in a professional life personal life sometimes uh, okay in a hurry or uh, in somewhat conditions we may wrong dial but uh, if it is professional life we should never wrong dial the numbers and keep frequently call numbers handy so whenever we need to talk on the frequent mode in that case we should have the numbers on handy we should maintain a proper telephone diary right ask the caller if it is convenient to talk so this is very important aspect whenever we call to someone else we should ask their name and the next moment we should ask them and we should take the confirmation whether the time is suitable for them to speak or not right most of the people what they do is they'll place a call and they'll directly they'll talk whatever they wish to talk but this is not the right way for example if we call to someone else we should take the permission whether they are ready to speak to us or not if they are busy we should never force them to talk to us if they can spare one or two minutes then you can take the permission if it is very urgent then take the permission and then convey the message this is a nice attitude we need to uh, practice while placing a call and insist on calling back if the connection is fault if you are not able to understand if the voice is not so clear try to ask the caller to call you back without understanding don't say that yes i understood the concept because once the call disconnected then automatically your face will become question mark face blind face blank face right so try to ask the caller to call you back if you are not able to hear them properly if you are not able to understand what they are saying next choice of words what kind of words we need to use while placing the call avoid crude expressions we never use crude expressions we should never use any uh, strong emotional words we should never use strong emotional words and a reply with a distinct yes not mm mm <laughs> like that we should do it <laughs> like we are doing such things <laughs> <laughs> so reply with a distinct yes rather than yeah most of the people they use yeah yeah right so we should use yes and show respect with simple comments and responses such as thank you i appreciate your help and please so these are some expressions we should use while we are talking to show the respect that we are listening to the caller next avoid responding with non words noises such as a ah, who who mm, right so these are all just we this one so we should avoid all these uh, these are all nothing but fillers gap fillers but we should never use them gap fillers this is the madam this is for us <laughs> <laughs> all right and Speak slowly and pronounce words clearly. Speak slowly and pronounce words clearly. Okay. So most of the people we don't know what happened and what is uh, kicking them back. You know uh, what they used to do is you know they used to run very fast. 
right? So we should never speak very fast. We should speak slowly. Slowly in the sense, it doesn't mean that uh, you can speak very slow. It should be moderate speed, moderate speed. It should be understandable to the other person because it is on the phone. We are talking through the phone, through the line, right? So we should speak slowly and we should use words or we should pronounce the words properly, clearly. Sir, yes, for, for beginners, uh, it is okay, no? Fourth one, ah, uh, <laughs> No, we should not use them. Like, like us. But sir, at that time, when we don't recall any proper word, then we talk like that. Uh, mm -mm. Sir. Yes, ma'am. I noticed one thing. Uh, this is uh, Kavita, ma'am. When we are talking, na, uh, many a time uh, we do this. Mm -mm, but uh, uh, many a times I... Uh, when I uh, talk with my one of my friend, he always uh, such a give response to me, mm -mm, and I get very irritating. I think that he should talk uh, talk with me some with some words also. Exactly. Huh. 